and I'm the director of Ballet Cocorico DFW. I grew up dancing in Ballet Cocorico since the age of four, all the way through college, um, but I'm actually a mechanical engineer by degree. And so, <laughs> our age center was looking for a dance teacher and I said, well, I can teach you So I started with two little girls. Those two little girls right here are the first one that I started all. And, and that actually was my last picture when I danced in college. So I danced all the way through college, the very last picture I got which is where our logo comes from. So if you look at that very first picture to that one, that's our logo. So right now we have about 75 dancers um, from the ages of three to 103 we're jumping about that <laughs> um, It's just been such a fun journey and I love it because I feel like um, all the kids that come to me, they have a story to tell. And that's what we do. We, we share our story and we share our culture with everyone. So we offer different classes. So we have our children's beginner classes, our children's intermediate classes. And then for the adults, we also have two different levels. So we have beginner, which is true beginner. And usually that's the biggest question I get from an adult is, is it really beginner? And yes, it is really beginner. And yes, it's never too late to learn. Um, and then we have an advanced adult class. So if you have previous dance experience, then that class would be best for you. We also have a competitive team and we take a group of 10 kids and 10 adults to go compete and that happens every spring. So if you are dancing anywhere else or have that experience, um, we definitely welcome you to come and be part of the team. It's a lot of fun. They practice, um, it's about seven to eight hours every week and it is a really tight community and I love working with the competitive team. So that's always a really fun aspect of the job as well. We have many community performances throughout the year. Our busiest times are the month of May and December, and of course, Hispanic Heritage Month. We do our big annual recital in May, and we love to have the community come out and support us. So for this year, our recital is Thursday, May 23rd, and we'd love to have everybody there. We love performing throughout the community, and some of our favorite ones are, of course, Matanga Fest, which is here in our hometown, just a few minutes away from us. And we also perform at the Killer Holidays. We love to visit nursing homes, elementary schools. So if any of you in the community are looking for local dancers to go to your school, please reach out to us, we'd love to do that. And then we do do private events as well. So people will hire us for quinceañeras, weddings, um, birthday celebrations. So if you do want to hire us for that, we definitely do like that and uh, enjoy that aspect of dancing. Um, I really enjoyed the grand opening ceremony that the Latoya City of Watauga did for us. That was super sweet and I just feel like it's been a recurring theme with the City of Watauga. They have um, welcomed us, both the leadership of the city and also the community. Many of the community members um, are members here of the dance studio and it's really nice to see. I have a couple of goals that I really would like to meet in the next few years. Um, what is to really grow my youth team? I have about 10, 14, to 17 year olds in that high school age, and I would love to have them come and dance. For me, that's super important because I know that especially our youth want to feel connected to their culture, to who they are. Another goal that I've really had is to um, create a show that is put on during Hispanic Heritage Month. We all are familiar with the Nutcracker. But one thing that I would love to do is share our story of the Hispanic culture, the Mexican culture here in the U.S. You know, um, many of my students kind of relate to my story. I wasn't born in Mexico, I was born here in the U.S. But our grandparents, our parents were born over there and we want to know more about that. We want to feel connected. And so creating a show that can be seen annually that reminds us of our heritage um, and our culture, that's definitely something that I plan to create and do within the next few years. If you're interested in dancing with Ballet Cocoico DFW, go ahead and reach out to us. You can find us on our website, DFW.com, on our social medias. We're on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Cocoico DFW. You're welcome to try the first class free. I promise you, you're gonna love it. Um, we do family discounts and multi-class discounts, and it is a good time. So be sure to check out our website, send us an email, DM us, we'd love to have you guys here. Thank <laughs> you.